And in the latest edition of Sports Scenes, the Talk Sports series, former Argentina basketball star and the 2004 Olympic champion Luis Scola discusses his experience from the Games and life after retiring. The 44-year-old who played at uh, five Olympics says he will definitely be watching the Games in Paris this summer. <laughs> The, 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 the Olympics are probably the, the best experience in sports. I think the Olympics go beyond basketball, definitely go beyond basketball, but also I believe they go beyond sports in general. I think it's a social cultural event that is way beyond basketball and sports. And that's what's making more special. And, um, and I enjoyed them a lot, all of them. They were probably, all, all five of them were the highlights of my career. So I'm very, very excited that um, I had the chance to, to be in, uh, in the Olympics so many times and do the things we did. Um, in fact, next month there's going to be a new Olympics, now going to be the first one that I'm not in it uh, after Athens and I'm going to be, I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit sad, who knows. I think it's hard, it's very hard to win Olympic gold medal and uh, for a country like Argentina, it's, it's not really realistic for us to think that we're going to be fighting for the medals. We did it for a little bit and, uh, and it was fun. Um, and, and that said, now I think the team is a little bit more in a place that it belongs to us for a history in, in the last hundred years. I think this is pretty much where we had been most of that time. There was this 10 year period in which we were able to do more things. But uh, it's okay, they're fighting, they're growing, they're creating a new project and eventually, over time, who knows, maybe they can come back and be, and be protagonists of the game, of, of the basketball game. But um, yeah, it's just, it's, just the way, it's just the way it works, it's, you just get up and down. I believe that it's very, very hard that the U.S. lose one game in that Olympics. I don't think there's a chance that they will lose the medal. I don't think nobody can beat them. I mean, anything can happen. Nobody's invincible, but I don't think nobody can beat the U.S. I think it's very different. It looks the same because it's still basketball, but I think it's very different. The, the pace of the game, uh, the flow of the game, um, the games are shorter, different rules. I think it's a different game. It's fun. I like it a lot. I'm very happy. That, um, that they play in 3-on-3 three three in the Olympics. I think it's a fun way to play basketball. Uh, so I'm all for it, but I don't believe it translates so much. I watch some soccer in the Olympics, but uh, most of the time I watch other sports. Um, it's just like uh, soccer is played all year round, but I think the Olympics, one of the good things about the Olympics is the fact that you get in contact with a whole bunch of sports, but during the year they're harder to follow. So I usually in the Olympics profit that opportunity and watch other sports. I think it was a great experience. I liked it. I always wanted to do it. Um, I felt um, it was a good opportunity for me to expand my cultural journey and uh, to get a chance to live uh, a different culture, meet people, create relationships, and play, play a little bit of basketball. And, and that's exactly what happened, so I'm excited about it. My, my life uh, after retirement has been fun so far. Um, I got the chance to continue to be involved in basketball. I moved to Italy. Um, I took a job as the CEO of a for professional basketball team, Palacanestro Varese, a historical Italian team that is in first division Italy. And, uh, and uh, that's actually the last team I play in. So I'm very excited about it. <laughs>